Hey there everyone, this is Hitesh and I'm back with another video. I hope everyone is ready to learn programming and today we have another interesting topic. So I expect that you are all set what programming language you are going to learn, on which platform you are going to learn, but an important question is still left and that is where you should learn. Either you should learn from the books, from the documentation, from the offline boot camps or from the online courses. So which one is best? So let's just check it out in this video. So before we move on, obviously there are a lot of people who are fans of books, some people fans of online courses, some people just fans of having offline boot camps. So obviously people do have a choice, but if you're a beginner, let's get started with the perspective that you want to have. Okay, so let's start with the books. Now, first of all, before I begin with the books, I want to say that every person have different needs and different criteria for learning. For example, if I want to learn something, I, I usually get into the technology really fast. So if I had to learn something like, let's say I want to learn Swift, in the time when I started to learn the Swift, there were no books on the market, no online courses, no books. So I had to dig up in the documentation. So everyone has a different need and everyone has a different situation. And I get that. I do look up into the documentation quite a lot. Sometimes I book buy books and most of the time I buy online courses. So everyone has a different need. So let's take down the situation, which situation is best for you. Okay, so first let's talk about the books. Now books are a great way of enhancing your knowledge, but from a couple of years and maybe a little bit more than that, I'm not reading any technical books and there is a solid reason for that. I'm not just talking randomly here. Now why I don't read technical books from a couple of years? Because first I have to learn quickly and the technology is new, so I all the time I have to dig up into the documentation. Second and the most important that I believe that if I have to learn something technical like iOS development or Android or anything, I would not like to see a screenshot in the book. I would like to see things in action. I can understand these things better. So I like to purchase an online course on let's just say Android or maybe other technology and I can just watch this course and can consult with the instructor and can learn directly. But again, don't get me wrong, I still do read a lot of books, but most of the books that I'm reading uh, from a couple of years are on time management and increasing your productivity, increasing your uh, daily skills, life hacks, and uh, uh, some science fiction as well. Don't judge me on that. But still, I do read a lot of books, but not technical. And some of you might get agree with me that yes, books are getting a little bit outdated, especially on the technical part for other books are still great and I would still like to read a books, but for technical, I would not like or recommend anyone to just buy a book, but that doesn't mean you should not buy or have a look on the book. Always go with the books, but not for the technicals. Okay, now next up, let's talk about the offlines. Okay, offline bootcamp, having instructor just in front of you is great way of learning. In fact, it is the best way. Everybody has been learning uh, by the same method over the years, but things are changing again especially the conditions in India are really changing. So let me just put another perspective out there. And this is just again a thought. I'm still a big fan of if I'm, if instructor is accessible offline, uh, obviously it's going to be much more costlier than compared to online or books. But again, if instructor is available offline, that's always a good thing. But let me put the things in perspective. Let's just say uh, you want to learn something and the instructor in your area is not that much high profiled or that much not skilled up. Obviously, everybody has a different skill. So let's just say the instructor in your area is not so good and you want to learn offline. So you are moving into the next city or maybe a very far city out and you want to learn there. So calculate the amount of time that you are spending in moving to the different city, the rent that you are paying, the traveling cost, the staying cost, the food cost. And on top of that, I've seen the situation. And in fact, I have personally experienced the situation where we just go to the institute to learn something. We just spend, let's just say half an hour or hour to reach the institute then my lecturer was not that much ready and he was just trying to fool us around here and there uh, with some random talks and then after half an hour he just started and talked something and uh, then he talked uh, teached us around uh, 45 or 30 minutes again after that then one hour back to home and i was just tired so just for taking a 45 minutes or 30 minutes class i wasted my 
three hours or maybe sometimes four hours. And that is not at all recommended. In fact, if you are reading any of the time management skills or time management books, this is the last choice that I would have. But again, if you can afford the offline boot camps, because quality boot camps are costly. In Indian currency, they cost around 25,000 to 30,000. And from, uh, if you'll talk about the US or London or cities like that, it costs around thousand bucks, thousand dollars or maybe two thousand dollars. So it's pretty expensive. Okay. And again, that's just perspective I'm putting out here. Now let's come on online. Okay. Let me first get here that I do teach online. So I have a love of online teaching and online learning, but that doesn't, uh, is not going to bias this video. Online videos have their pros and have their cons. Let's just get through them one by one. First of all, if you want to go with the online, then obviously you have to do a lot of research before buying the course. Yes, the courses are pretty cheap. Within the $20 or $50, you can buy almost all any courses which are high profile. And that's just one charm. But again, you have to look quite a lot about how the instructor is teaching. Am I getting or connected with the instructor uh, from a distance and how quickly he's answering the questions and whether I'm get, getting a support or not because everyone will have problems. So based on that, you might want to do a lot of research. But the good part or the best part about online things is instructor always get ready before preparing their lectures. It's not about instructor is getting there, writing some code, it's not working and then trying it again. It happens in the offline boot camps, but it doesn't happen in online. Instructor do prepare a lot. And in fact, recording just uh, one hour or two hours of lecture, it, it actually consumes a time of uh, maybe two, two days or three days or even maybe more sometimes. And then post-production edits, sound quality, audio quality, video quality, tons of things needs to go out there. So the best part is you have to uh, get through the instructor first. Okay, let's move on. Now, what else thing that you can get? Now the courses that you might be looking, for example, the iOS 10 course, which is still not available in many cities all over the globe is heavily available online. So you can just learn iOS development or Android N development quickly via online. Now, one of the best thing that I've seen the online with the online courses is I'm kind of a, I, I used to be very dumb in learning. Uh, I used to don't get the concept or things in just one shot. I had to repeat that again and again. Over the time, I got better in learning, but in the initial days, I used to be dumb. So I need to just uh, understand the topic again and again, quite a number of times. This used to annoy the offline instructor quite a lot because, hey, if I'm not getting how the loop works, that's it. I'm not getting it. So you need to teach me again and again that. And uh, once I just asked the teacher three or four times, he got really annoyed. But when I moved to the online learning, I rewatched the lecture maybe 15 or 20 times and the lecture was not annoyed because it was just video. I was just playing it again, playing it again, playing it again till I didn't got the concept. That's the one charm of learning online. Another thing that impressed me personally uh, of online learning is let's just say I'm learning today. I'm very packed for learning. I want to learn three hours today instead of just one hour. But tomorrow I want to take a little rest and I just want to learn maybe 15 minutes. So I'm completely free to do so. Course is having a lifetime access most of the time and I can just watch them anytime, anywhere and as, mu as much as I can. So this, these are the things that have impressed me quite a lot about online learning. But still, you have to practice whether you are learning online, offline or with the books. Practice is the key to become a great coder. So it's not about just you are learning uh, one day you are just moving five hours a day and the next hour or uh, next day you are just having five minutes and, uh, and to the next week you are just not touching the code. Code is pretty easy to forget. So do code every single day. I hope you got my perspective quite right that how the things are different with the books, the offline and the online. Again, there is no such thing that uh, you have to choose just online. Everybody has their perspective, everybody has their need and everybody has their situation. But the point is you should be learning. With this, I would like to say that subscribe to my channel. We'll be talking quite a lot. Do like the video, share the video if you think that somebody can get help from this video, especially the Hello World series. So with this, see you out there in the next video.